promotion. So firstly, we will understand the meaning of promotion. Promotion is one of the four elements of marketing mix, product, price, promotion, distribution. It is the communication link between sellers and buyers for the purpose of influencing, informing or persuading a potential buyer's purchasing decision. Two types of promotion are above-the-line promotion, which is a type of promotion in which the advertiser pays an advertising agency to place the ad in TV, radio, newspapers, internet, mobile phones and historically illustrated songs. Below-the-line promotion includes all other promotion then above the line promotion x for example sponsorship product placement endorsements sales promotion merchandising direct mail personal selling public relations and trade shows promotion consists of the following major areas of marketing advertising public relations sales promotion personal selling word of mouth direct mail these areas are called the promotion mix or the communication mix. After studying this lesson, we should be able to enumerate the steps in designing communication strategy, discuss the guidelines for service communication, analyze the communication mix elements. Now let's discuss steps in designing communication. Identify the target audience or receivers. Determine the promotion objectives. Develop the message. Select the communication mix or the promotion blend. Select the media vehicle. Set up systems for feedback. A crucial part of marketing is making sure that your message is being seen and heard by the people most likely to purchase your product, your target audience. By targeting your message, you are more likely to maximize return. So firstly, identify your target audience. Think about those visitors you want to attract to your site. As much as we did like to think so, not everyone is going to be equally interested in your product or service. So who is most likely to be interested in what you have to offer? Next step is to determine promotion objective. Whatever the product, service, store or website being featured, the promotional objective of any business is to increase consumer traffic and ideally create a stimulating impression that brings the guests back time and again. We need to decide that whether we want to introduce the product in market or we are creating its awareness or we want to increase the goodwill of the company. Next step is developing the message. There are many models for describing the customer responses. One of the simplest and widely used is the IDA model. IDA is an acronym used in marketing that describes a common list of events that are very often undergone when a person is selling a product or service. A. Attention, awareness, attracts the attention of customer. I. Interest, raise customer interest by focusing on and demonstrating advantages and benefits. D. Desire. Convince the customers what they want and desire the product or service and that it will satisfy their needs. A. Action. Lead customers towards taking action and or purchasing. Nowadays, some have added another letter to form IDA S. S. Satisfaction. Satisfy the customer so that they become a repeat customer and give reference to a product. Moreover, this step includes decision regarding what to say, when to say, how to say and by whom to say. Next step is to select the communication mix. As we all know that we have a variety of media available to communicate with the audience. So here we have to decide that how many media we want to use at which place and at which time. The communication could have either personal interaction one to one or impersonal messages one way. Personal communication consists of personal selling, word of mouth, etc. Impersonal communication consists of mass communications like advertising in newspapers, TV, outdoor advertising, etc. Another step is to decide media vehicle. Media vehicle is the type of communication method in a particular media. 
Like in print media, we have media vehicle as newspapers, magazines, brochures, etc. And in broadcast media, we have TV and radio, etc. This decision is taken by keeping some factors in mind like availability of money, media vehicle, type of audience, time constraint, etc. Now at last set up the system for feedback. The communicator should undertake two important exercises to make his present and future message effective. Feed forward is a kind of pre-test undertaken before the message has been broadcast to ensure that the message will be received. Feedback is a kind of post-test undertaken after the message has been broadcast to ensure that the message was received. Now let's discuss guidelines for service communication. There are six guidelines for services advertising which apply to a wide range of services. Provide tangible clues. Make the service comprehensible. Communications continuity. Promising what is possible. Capitalizing on word of mouth. Direct communication to employees. Providing tangible clues means providing tangibility to intangible services by providing brochures, stating responses of satisfied customer, we can make the intangible services as tangible products. Again, due to their intangibility, it becomes difficult for the customers to understand the offer and its benefits. Thus, tangible attributes of the service can be made use of to help in understanding the offer. Thus, ICICI Bank used the umbrella symbol as part of its safety bonds offer to communicate the offer effectively. The banks and insurance companies should not stop contacting and communicating with the audience because otherwise competitors will pick over their customers. Next method is to stick to whatever claimed. Due to the intangibility of services, the customer has difficulty believing in the promise. What can reinforce his faith is consistent service delivery as promised by the service marketer. Another one is to make best efforts to create word of mouth for your product because it is the most effective tool for promotion in financial services. Last but not the least is to make direct communication with the employees so that inner morale of workers can increase and thus have overall effect on customer relation. Now the turn comes to discuss communication mix elements. Communication mix includes Advertising, personal selling, sales promotion, public relation, direct marketing. Advertising is a non-personal form of mass communication paid for by an identified sponsor. It includes the name of a product or service and how that product or service could benefit the consumer to persuade a target market to purchase or to consume that particular brand. Virtually any medium can be used for advertising. Commercial advertising media can include wall paintings, billboards, street furniture components, printed flyers and rack cards, radio, cinema and television adverts, web banners, mobile telephone screens, shopping carts, etc. Personal selling involves a seller attempting to persuade a potential buyer to make a purchase. Personal selling is one of the oldest forms of promotion. It involves the use of a sales force to support a push strategy or a pull strategy. Personal selling is a face-to-face -face activity. Customers therefore obtain a relatively high degree of personal attention. The sales message can be customized to meet the needs of the customer. The two-way nature of the sales process allows the sales team to respond directly and promptly to customer questions and concerns but it is very costly and time-consuming strategy too. Sales promotion encompasses short-term activities such as giving coupons, free samples, etc. that encourage quick action by buyers. Media and non-media marketing communication are employed for a predetermined, limited time to increase consumer demand, stimulate market demand or improve product availability. Sales promotions can be directed either at the customer, sales staff or distribution channel members such as retailers. Sales promotions targeted at the consumer are called consumer sales promotions. 
Sales promotions targeted at retailers and wholesalers are called trade sales promotions. Some sale promotions, particularly ones with unusual methods, are considered gimmick by many. The company has control over these three variables, but has little control over the fourth variable, publicity or public relations. This is another non-personal communication method that reaches a large number of people, but it is not paid for by the company and is usually in the form of news or editorial comment regarding a company's product or service. Companies can gain some control over the publicity it receives by the release of news items. Last one is direct marketing. Direct marketing is a form of advertising that reaches its audience without using traditional formal channels of advertising such as TV, newspapers or radio. Businesses communicate straight to the consumer with advertising techniques such as flyers, catalog distribution, promotional letters and street advertising. There are two main definitional characteristics which distinguish it from other types of marketing. The first is that it sends its message directly to consumers without the use of intervening commercial communication media. The second characteristic is the core principle of successful advertising driving a specific call to action. This aspect of direct marketing involves an emphasis on traceable, measurable, positive responses from consumers regardless of now let us check if you have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. Above the line promotion is a type of promotion in which the advertiser pays an advertising agency to place the ad. Right or wrong? Right. IDA represents action, intelligence, desire and action. Right or wrong? Wrong. Discount mail out by banks is a promotional method which comes under sales promotion mix. Right or wrong? Right. 8. Let's revise. The word promotion is an attempt to shift the attention of people from one end of the disinterest to the other interest. Advertising, public relations, sales promotions, personal selling and direct marketing are the part of promotion or communication mix. Steps in designing an effective communication mix include identify the target audience or receivers, determine the promotion objectives, develop the message, select the communication mix or the promotion blend, select the media vehicle, and set up systems for feedback and feed forward. Six basic guidelines which a marketer must keep in mind while designing a promotion mix are tangible cues, make the service comprehensible, communications continuity, promising what is possible, capitalizing on word of mouth and direct communications to employees, selection, of a particular type of media for advertising would depend on characteristics of the medium, atmospherics, coverage and comparative costs. Sales promotions are incentive tools used to temporarily boost sales. The high contact nature of services and the resultant interactions between service providers and customers make personal selling very effective and important as a communication tool. Direct marketing is increasingly being used as a promotional technique due to its personalization, instant feedback and cost effectiveness.